Hello everybody. Harlock MBB asked me if I could make an object like the mosque of Samarra, which uh, I have a picture on here. It is a spiral shaped building and I have not planned to make this mosque really. I just show the technique to make such a spiral shaped uh, object. So let's start Blender. First you have to um, edit your preferences and add two more add-ons. One is extra objects for curves which allows us to make the spiral and the other one is called F2, which is a, a very strong add-on which speeds up inserting um, faces or polygons. Okay, just enable these two and you are good to go. So shift A, curve and curve spirals Archimedean and let's see I make five turns then the radius one is okay the growth depends on uh, what you really want to do then the radius growth I make like this and by the way I could make a negative value here but then we get a lot of distortions and inaccuracies when I, I continue to use this spiral. So I rather rotate it around Y so A R Y180 and press enter and we can go to this view here grab in Z and put it up to here okay now I select everything go to object set origin to 3d cursor otherwise it gets in my way. Good. Now if we go to uh, edit mode you see where the spiral starts the normals are almost or are horizontal and as more as the spiral progresses the last one here is vertical so this we we cannot use this let's see the twist method is minimum and we have other twist methods like set up and with set up the normals are recalculated every time or on every point by the way I made a spiral with 24 edges and if you would really like to make uh, something better then you would need at least 48 or even 64 sides. I use 24 because of time reasons mainly. Okay, now we can go to object mode again and go to geometry here and zoom in very much like so and then extrude and extrude to here till this edge here is in the middle. Okay, now we can go to object again and convert to mesh from curve 
and now we have an editable mesh and if I go to top view you see what I meant with distortions these are relatively small and they are much bigger if I would have uh, made this the spiral with the negative number so here we can um, scale this in y to zero and do the same scale on x to zero and let's see I go to this view here yes then I take the knife tool with K and C and Z option then pull this through click and enter now we can delete these faces up here and X delete faces now we have a flat corner a uh, flat top and we just need to fill in the things in between so F now I select this edge here and then press and keep the F key and we can fill in all the polygons this is what the F2 um, add on this very handy so let's have a look here extrude in Z to about here yes then I use these two vertices and merge them at center okay now let's have a look quickly at the face orientation yes it's wrong so select everything mesh normals flip we don't need this anymore now I just have to fill in this top here so top view and I shift add in edit mode a circle so we don't get an uh, extra object we get uh, the same object and only 24 sides okay now I fill this in then inset a little click inset again to here then I select two edges in here shift control plus then X and dissolve edges now we can select the middle vertices and merge them at center and we have an all quad surface so go to the side view again and grab in Z like so let's see here grab in Z and put it down just a tiny bit I could do this with snapping but that's okay um, we have two vertices in here I guess no now we have two vertices so 
at center and do the same here at center and now we don't need this anymore let's see from when on we start descending this seems to be the last straight one so here uh, my cat has come home and wants some food just a moment okay i have selected the last straight edges before they start descending and fill this in then i go to the other end go to vertex mode select these three vertices and fill this in by the way you could also go for an end gone when you make this circle smaller uh, but with this kind of shape you always end up either with end gones or with triangles so i don't mind either now edge mode again and press f key like so now i select these and then extrude in z just a little then i can go to snap to vertex and turn on snapping vertex mode then select this vertex put the cursor on this one or this one and then G set and we snap automatically to the proper distance so this one cursor on this one G set G set GZ, 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 and two more, GZ, and the last one, GZ. Okay, now we have double vertices we can uh, remove them by selecting everything then merge by distance and we have only removed one let's see we need to remove two two now we have removed them okay now we can add in uh, the last piece here so edge mode again F and we have a very nice shape now let's add in a plane um, shift A as a separate object and scale it out a lot then I select this here. Um, let's see. And give it the material. Um, new. And on the bottom I select the Cycles Materials Library. And use polystyrene foam which I think looks most like concrete or so um, let's see how this looks we need a light and here I add also material but 
Uh, not this one. <clears throat> I make this just green. I had to uh, delete this ground plane and put the new one in uh, otherwise I couldn't change the material don't know what I did wrong anyway we're back here now and next I select this spiral shape go to the modifiers tab and add a bevel modifier with two segments and the profile of one and limit method angle and here we are uh, I think I leave the light as it is let's see lock camera to view and then uh, I can pull this down a bit and so we see the top nicely and maybe when I select this light and give it a bit more a warmer color like so yes then bring this down to 66 percent and make the background no this background color completely black so this gives it an even sharper look so that's it Thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Uh, take care and see you some other time. Bye bye.